Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, on Sundays in the morning and Wednesdays for our midweek services in the evening. Now, this morning I'd like to uh, touch on something that is very, very interesting. I would like to call it Touch Me Not. Are you aware that it's not every time, and I mean, there are some moments in your life where God doesn't want human interference. In John 20, 17, there's a very powerful story out there. You know, Jesus is now risen from the dead, and uh, Mary, you know, is excited, and Mary is really, really, really excited at the fact that Jesus is risen from the dead. And just like any ordinary person who has... Uh, lost a loved one and all of a sudden finds out that that loved one is not really dead but that loved one is alive. Our first reaction is to jump on that loved one, embrace the person and celebrate and let everybody, yes, yes. I mean, something powerful has happened. So Mary, just like any ordinary person, and I would do the same, in seeing that Jesus was not dead, I mean, he, he was risen, I mean, she was excited and uh, she displayed her happiness by rushing to go touch him. And then Jesus said, don't touch me. Now, if I were Mary, I'll, I'll be pretty much offended. And if I were Mary, I would say, why? Why shouldn't I touch you? Well, am I the one who killed you? Am I the one responsible for your, your, your ordeal or the pain that you went through? Why are you asking me not to touch you? That would be the question in the mind of Mary. But Jesus said it authoritatively. He said, touch me not. And the reason he gave, he said, because I have not yet ascended to my father. I have not yet spoken to my father. I have not had divine approval over this transaction that has taken place in my life. I have not sat at the feet of my father to hear him say, okay, well done. You've done it. You did it good, son. But Jesus said, don't touch me. And here's the principle, very simple. There are some transactions of God that said there are moments of victories that you can't share with anybody. And there are some times in, in when, when the celebration is, no, no, you need to hide it for a little while. You need to incubate it for a little while. You need to allow the process, I mean the process to finish. You need to allow the, 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 the process to go to its end, to its conclusion. And that was what Jesus was telling Mary. He said, the matter is not yet concluded. It begins with Alpha and it must end with Omega. It, it began with God and it must end with my father. It must end with God. And that process has not yet been completed. So I'll not be in a haste to celebrate. I'll not be in a haste to let you fellowship with it. Because sometimes when the process is not finished, when the divine transaction is incomplete, and human beings get involved in it, sometimes they can contaminate the process. And sometimes they can mess up the process. And sometimes they can, they, they, you know, uh, human interference. It's not everybody who goes to the labor ward. It's not everybody who, uh, whose hands are involved in the process of, of, of child delivery. No, it is the specialists. It's not everybody who is involved in it. Why? Because not everybody's hands are sanitized. And sometimes hands that are not spiritually sanitized and can get involved in what you're doing will mess up your destiny, will mess up your victory song, and will mess up your celebration. So sometimes allow the transaction to end. Allow the process to end. See to its end before you open your mouth to talk to somebody else. Because sometimes human interference can create a problem. If you remember, there's a story of Esther. When Esther was uh, gunning to be the queen, Mordecai was managing that process. And Mordecai told Esther, tell no one what is going on. It was after Esther had become queen 
that now everybody knew that Esther had become queen. Because sometimes the people of Israel, their mouth has the capacity to destroy things of God. So sometimes when there's a divine transaction in your life, yes, you can see the victory coming. You can see it for sure. But hold your horses and hold your peace until the process is over. Then you can open your mouth and tell somebody else. But until that time, don't allow people to touch you. Touch me not. See you later.